Uh, I'm stuck on my bean bag. Where's my Fanta? Such a fat bastard. Oh, where did I put my Fanta? Did I put it away? No. My Fanta. Oh, well. Guess I'm dying. Uh, sorry, what? Nice work, dumbass. So, Hunter's dead. Rip. But I'm built different, so I wouldn't fall for such a trap, obviously. Uh, let's go kill some... Okay. Let's go kill some easily killed. Because these frogs aren't playing. So, yeah, they showed us that, and you're supposed to be like, Oh no, Hunter's gone, captured, guess I... But like, you got to remember, half the mini-games in Spyro 2 were him getting captured or doing something stupid. Like, having his shoes turn to rocks in uh, Fracture Hills. So, it's really just, oh, I guess I'll go pull his sorry ass out of the fire again, because he presses suspicious buttons on the ground for some reason. I don't know where that is, but fine. I'm pretty sure there's a whole other world past this, and I'm trying to knock this on its head today. You're gonna make me less effective in your world, because now I'm ice. Thanks. Because, you know, nothing here would have problems with intense heat. I don't remember this. I kind of pseudo remember this, and I'm like, I think I like this level already. Let's, let's just have some fun. I'm gonna stop whining for a second. <laughs> oh man, that's that's rough. I wasn't listening. What am I supposed to be doing? Triangle. Oh. Is he an enemy or am I just burning him? He's dead. Oh. The way that everything just clips out of existence after it's done a particle effect for a little too long as well, it just goes pink, it doesn't fade. It just kind of clinks. Just bing. Yeah, no one's looking anymore. See that? Oh, well, that's okay. It kind of dissolves like a Doom 3 body. Right, let's just speed run this. Even though it's a nice level. There have been a lot of snow and ice levels, to be fair. Good, we can do that. Oh, no we can't, because there's a mouse out of here. Is it me, or does the difficulty level spike a lot more in this game? <laughs> song though. Yeah, I need your zap. I'm not doing well. This is why I feel like keeping my flame breath would have been useful. These guys have good accuracy. Um, sorry, dodo bird. Dodo kiwi. Oh man, what was I even talking about before I got angry? Well, there's another snowman then. So yeah, I have... 
I'm disturbed at how little I've heard about uh, Crash Bandicoot 4. There were all these trailers, everyone was... Can I charge those? I feel like I could charge those. Yeah, there was all these trailers and everyone was going nuts for it and then it just came out to almost no fanfare and I was just like, that's out? And then I saw that the Prince of Persia and Sands of Time remaster is coming out and I'm like, ooh. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. I've just been dying a lot, so I was worried. Got out. Wow. No! Bad. Let's go kill the snowman. Carried on moving on its own for a little while. Yeah. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, I forgot about you. You barely showed up for most of this. Play some Bentley level in a minute. Glad they gave me all these gems, but I really need a a butterfly. Uh oh fuck's sake, I might have to stop LPing today because this guy. This is just getting worse and worse, and he's just thinking, oh I know, let's just drill into the walls again. Fucking prick. It's like every day, every fucking day, he just goes around my apartment drilling in the roof, in the walls, in the opposite wall. Then he turns my fucking power on and off again. And he's like, oh, I don't know what happened. Oh, well. Prick. square temple ruin kind of things like this is that um, once you clean them out of treasure they do seem quite empty looking like there should be adornments or something but speaking of like things that I've been building in my house I built a weight bench that I got online it wasn't particularly hard to build um, <clears throat> um, so that was fun. I now have a weight bench, a punch bag. I had to build a small, like, shelf because there was hardly any space for any clothes in this house. There was a tiny closet, so I had to make more space. But yeah, it's, uh, it's fine.
Off you go, then. But you'll regret it. Many years from now, you'll sit on your old dragon haunches and wish with all your might for just one more chance to see a game of cat hockey. I don't really want to do all these mini games. Because, you know, if you're rewarded with every mini game, and these mini games take quite a while, and the mini game is basically you get an egg, it's like, but I have so many eggs. <laughs> like, how many do I need? We're going to need like a hundred eggs now. If, if, uh, if we need more eggs, I'll just off screen some eggs. Last time it kind of worked out pretty neatly. I had This was in the game. <laughs> Is easily interrupted. Oh, I just need one more hit. Fuck you. So like rock'em sock'em robots. <laughs> you really showed him. <laughs> he won by time out. Oh, you're gonna make me do it again for his ball. This time it'll be a three round match. Oh. And when you win, don't let him send you off with a stupid egg. Why is it now a three round match? Why don't we just do what we did before? Oh, that is so interrupted. going in this time. These health bars are big. Oh, yeah, three rounds, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Annoying little brother who just gets in trouble. Oh, that fairy clipped out of existence. See what I mean about the clipping? Oh, he just dropped his guard. Oh. Oh! Calm your farm, sir! I'm punching through him? 
no clinch tech. I'm just going wild and <laughs> I'm losing. Uh, my controller stopped. There, there we go. Pretty close. This is the last round. Finish him off. I don't wanna. Oh, now we're half health. Cause they knew. I mean, you get two hooks in, and it's pretty much game over for this guy. But like, you can't get them in without like knocking him into a stun state first, and he doesn't stay reeling for long enough. He's just getting wrecked. Oh, the comeback. He knows he's reading my inputs. I'm hoping for a Yeti level. We did all this for two eggs there. Like, honestly, the amount of eggs per level in this late part of the game makes you think they went, oh shit, there's gonna be a lot of eggs. Because look, box of Yeti, box of Yeti again, and then there's just two others. One of them's gotta be the cat hockey. So I might just say, yeah, man, let's just put this one to bed and then move to a new location, because it's like... If there were all a fair amount, like, it's hard, it's hard to guess, because it's like, the orbs in Spyro 2 kind of, like, gave them to you on enough of a level that you could do it. I don't want to do cat hockey. Yeah, they, they did it on enough of a level that by the end of the game, for the final boss encounter, you'd have enough, you know, air, uh, orbs. So I'm thinking, it was, uh, but I have this distinct memory of getting to the final boss of Spyro 3, and it being like, you need 100 or 130 eggs or something ridiculously high, and me be going, oh, well, I was just running through this game because I don't have as much nostalgia for it. Oh, she's gonna cut him. She's gonna shank him. Hello. I, you might be hungry. Thanks. Did you bring any chips? I'm sorry this happened, but I tried to warn you. Now I'm gonna gut you I like a fish. Spyro rescue the eggs. You just don't understand. If we don't bring dragons back to this world soon, all our magic will be lost. Why don't, dragons used to live here? why don't you just yes, ask the dragons to come back? Home. It seems very ass about face. The sorceress banished them to the other side of the world. She didn't realize the dragons were the source of all our magic. So is her if fucking fault. The dragons to come back if you let me go. I'm sorry. I can't. Uh. He will use that apple to carve a key to escape now. Uh, yeah, like, I'm, I'm sitting here thinking like this, like, why don't we just convince the dragons to come back? Oh, because the sorceress is a bitch? Oh, okay. So, it's really like, you know, this is your fault. <laughs> we could have helped you if you didn't burn your bridges on the way out. Asshole sorceress. Seems like the sorceress is the problem, and you just remove the sorceress, allow the dragons to invade her sovereign territory, and then magic's back, so it's fine. Also, not being funny, there's been no indication up until level uh, game three that dragons have any magic. Be careful around these parts, little dragon. There'd be more ghosts in this here shipyard than I could shake my neck at. Darn shame, too. That was mighty close to finding my treasure. Okay, reuse of 
these enemies from uh, Aquarius Towers and other... Okay, it's just ignoring me. There we go. I pressed, I held square for a little bit and then it just carried on holding square. Mm. Can you feel the progress? Ah. Okay, that's pretty clever. There's two of them hidden in the sheet. It's funny. Ow. I was lining up my shot, you knob. The sheet, it has some sort of armor value. What the hell? Oh, the cannon, the cannon. I thought I could spit a ball at it and then explode. Nope. This is the luckiest crab in the planet. It got blocked by a basket. There we go. Man, I've been trying to eat healthy today and that is not going well because I'm not, you know, ah! Because uh, I ate like some whey protein, a soy bar, a load of fruit, some pasta for lunch, and I'm sitting here like, man, I'm starving. <laughs> like, you know, trying to be healthy. Oh. Oh, that's why we, okay. I want to get the, the treasure. Hey, buddy. Crazy Ebbs. Oh, you mean the different colored wood panel with the X on? Oh, yeah, that's just me being stupid. I saw a fodder enemy. Where I'm going insane. Insane in the membrane. Sometimes it does the effect where it fades out pieces and sometimes they just clip out existence, you know? Ah! Spooky crab. He's literally drilling directly into the wall. Or into the floor and trying to drill through the ceiling. It's like, great work, asshole. That's a really smart thing to do. He has just been a problem. All of them, all the way around, every neighbor is just drilling directly into a brand new build's wall. And I'm sat there like, oh, I bought a new house, I know, I'm just gonna put a load of fucking holes in it all the way down the fucking brand new wall. It's like, good work, asshole. Imagine my landlord would go fucking nuts if they found I'd been drilling non-stop. Oh, they're not an enemy, I forgot. I love all of the cannon levels have these stupid birds flying around because they highly anticipate that you will go around shooting them all for an egg or for extra treasure and it's like yeah I'm not gonna do that and now he's literally hitting a hammer onto the floor like what the fuck is wrong with this person you 
see your treasure, but unless this is more flea. Are we doing flotsam and jetsam rules? some stuff. But I really want to progress. Oh god, there's so many. Swim through acid. Find Crazy Ed's treasure and swim through acid. That's all you need to do to get eggs here. But you can see how it's literally a whole, like, five, six, seven eggs each time. I don't even know why I'm bothering picking up treasure anymore. It's like, just use it to pay money bags. It's literally got hardly any, other than a percentage completed thing. It's not really worth, it's not a progression item anymore. <laughs> oh well. Uh, yeah, so all I know about Crash 4 is literally, um, there's a lot of crabs up here, ah. Uh, all I know about Crash 4 is literally what I saw in the trailer and it taught me virtually nothing. And I'm sat there like, uh, looks like it could be the Crash Twin Sanity of Crash, even when Crash Twin Sanity already exists. Seems like it's very high concept, but it probably doesn't have a lot of content, and I'm wondering if that's why I haven't seen anything. Ooh. Ah, oh, Hunter's dead, yeah. She literally has enough time to be spending, like... So you literally can't skateboard without Hunter, the true sadness. The Sorceress is really not doing anything. She's like most people I work with. She doesn't do anything that doesn't make you just think, wow, well I'm definitely not going to help you now, dickhead. <laughs> you know? Uh, oh, we can help work together and solve the problem. Oh no, you're being a prick, so I'm just going to leave you to suffer then. You know, like, I don't need to help you. I could help you, but you're being an asshole, so I'm not going to help you. Cool. Ugh, this camera is drunk. Ugh. So yeah, I'm worried about Crash 4 being good or bad, because I've only seen a little bit, and I've then it's like, you know, there's nothing else now, and I'm kind of like worried. I'm just going off of levels here. Uh, by level, I'm trying to find like a couple of eggs every level, and I think if I get a couple of leg, a couple of legs every level, I'll be, um, I'll have enough, you know. I won't have to do too much revisiting. Uh, I felt like that was pretty unavoidable. <laughs> oh, a submarine. Meteor waters used to be my favorite diamond spot. But I can't get any loot with these subs patrolling around. Think you can hide in this here sub by bumping the ground. Alrighty then. Rest the oh, I like vehicle cool section. On up. When you get a sub in your sights, the torpedo will start to lock on. If you get a good lock on, fire away with the attack button. Sorry. Don't need the okay good. Why does it have a car? <laughs> okay. Oh, this handle's weird. Oh, we have to lock. Oh yeah, those gems had really weird animation. I 
I mean, this is a pretty easy way for me, and you know it'll be do it again, but this time there's more of them. So yeah, leave your opinions in the comments below, but no spoilers for Crash 4. I want to play Crash 4 completely blind, which may be hilarious. Or it may be terrible, or hilariously terrible, but you know, I'll just see how things go. Um, This is fun. <laughs> I'm glad his submarine's faster than mine by a little bit so that I'm never catching him. <laughs> oh, he turns around. Oh. So I was thinking if I go against him, it would just, I won't be able to lock on him. Why would you have an egg as a reward? Oh, I give up asking. Buy Apple. Is there another one? Well, I hate to ask your help again. Yeah. There'd be even more subs that are coming out of nowhere. You could blast them. I could use this acid lake as my swimming hole. So, you, you can just swim in this? Okay. So at my work, they have a like system like Spotify on the computers that they pay VIP for, but it's like Chinese Spotify, and I thought, oh, so it'll be censored as fuck, and there won't be any of the music I like on there, because, you know... My music's mostly about saying fuck the system and various violent shit that like the Chinese are like, you no, the system's great, there's nothing wrong with this system. And you're like, okay, sure, but I like punk, so fuck you. <laughs> like, you know, not very punk. China is the least punk place on the planet. Except for maybe like North Korea. I don't know. Um, anyway. It actually has basically everything on there, which is really weird. Well, it's the stuff I've, uh, stuff I've looked for, anyway. So I was just getting bored before a presentation I was doing, and I started playing, like, Leonard Skinner's Sweet Home Alabama amongst, like, a load of Rolling Stones, you know, it's just, you know, a lot of, like, kind of, like, softish rock that is, you know, kind of just not going to be objectionable. Some Hendrix, some Cream, some Steve Miller band, that kind of thing. And then they came in to fix the computers, and the tech guy just played some sort of mix of historical stuff that you may like because of your previous play history. And it decided that that meant that we wanted to hear Sweet Home Alabama mixed with Jimi Hendrix on loop for like three hours and I was like, is no one gonna turn this off or change the music? And it kept, when someone went to play a song it would revert to that playlist again and start playing Sweet Home Alabama again and I was getting a bit like, oh my god, can someone turn off Sweet Home Alabama? <laughs> and it was just going crazy. And everyone was just like, all the Chinese were just sat there like, huh? I was like, the same song was played three times. How does this not annoy you? And it's like, because in their radio, there's like about five songs. And they just play them on repeat. And they hear the same song in every mall on repeat on loop. And it doesn't drive them up the fucking wall. And I, I am shocked at how easy it is for the Chinese to not get pissed off by this. They just go, no, it's fine. It's like, I've heard this song. 
everywhere. Dolores. So I go free from here. Uh, I don't like the whole time limit swimming thing. It's very stressful, so I don't do that. Ah, I chipped the roof, so instant death. I think they knew that's why there's so many corner things here. Uh, yeah, so I'm wondering, I wonder how long the Crash 4 game is and how weird and strange it's going to be if it's even, if it's like Crash of the Titans or Twin Sanity where it veers so far away from like the original that it doesn't even feel like a Crash game, it feels like a weird, strange thing. We'll see. We'll see. I think it'll be fun. Regardless. We'll all go on that journey together, and I'll probably be like, what the fuck? What is this? And then I'll be like, oh, okay, they ruined Crash again, because apparently nobody can make a hub world platformer at all. <laughs> like, they, it's really easy, I thought, is just like, do what they did before, just maybe add a few things. <laughs> oh, we do fireworks factory. Uh, that does beg the question what we have left. So I'm going to find what we have left. Um, ooh. <laughs> we have this left. Oh, I'm sneezing all over. Oh, it's probably because I've dropping dust on my head. I've broken this before because there's nothing in here. Okay. I got pins and needles, so yeah. Let's just stop this here before it goes over too far.